Alright, we are live now. Appreciate if anyone is joining us. We've got a shooter with us tonight. We are going to be uh, bombing China. Of all places. But I'm uh, good to go if you are. Shooter, I already got my uh, reflight checks complete. Ready Just when you are. Now. Yeah. Talent 310 is launching Cat 1 outbound. We're going to be uh, doing case 3. Talent 301, launching Cat 2 outbound. Looking at 2.30. But am I uh, going to start bringing us up? We're going to go past 500, obviously. Roger. Uh, case 3. I'll uh, stay on uh, ship heading until uh, we hit 7 miles, and I'll start our turn. 2.65. Yeah, I got a spike behind us. Yeah, yeah, uh, I think that's a uh, little back there. Block. I didn't set my uh, end speed. And I didn't set my accelerometer, but that's kind of weird. My last trap was only 7 Gs, apparently. Didn't even max it out. <coughs> Excuse me. That Corona. <laughs> I am hauling ass, my bad dude, easing a tiny bit of power. It looks like you're Not keeping okay. up all right though, so I'll, I'll hold on to what, mostly what I got. Tell 310 arcing, coming right this time. Yeah, we're pretty heavy anyway, so it's uh, plane flies with a little faster. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna get to our outbound, uh, excuse me. Our uh, outbound radio before we uh, before we even get to the heart. Down three one zero holding as three zero one is uh, platform twenty three point three. There's our uh, arc right there. Three one zero outbound. Our town three one zero is outbound and up and checks. Oh come on, what are you doing there, buddy? My bad. There we go. Easy. That's all good. Rolling out. Bank. I'm yelling at kids right now. Eh, we're, uh, we're passing through a turbulent layer, it looks like. It bounced around. Master arm on. I'm also gonna be at nose hot right now. Roger. Still got about uh, 200 miles. I'll let you know when we're the, within 100. Even, uh, waypoint doesn't hit it. Got an inlet ice, uh, Master Caution. Go, uh, engine uh, inlet's on and uh, the heater's on, uh, pedo heat on. Yeah, Roger, I, I had that before. Uh, it's weird, not, uh, it doesn't happen very often in this game. Yeah. Well, it does if I'm making the weather. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like to make it interesting with different pockets and stuff. At different altitudes. We'll get through this uh, garbage here in a minute. Goes up to Angel 16, if I'm not mistaken. That's a bad. We're out of the rain. I can see blue sky now over us. I 
see the giant cloud. <laughs> Gonna add some power here. I'm gonna go uh, first stage burners. Burners ready now. Power set. Angel 16. It looks like we're out of it. Looks like we just got out of it. Uh, getting thrown around. Our master arm on. I might as well keep all that off. Oh, and my oh, and strobes on there for a minute. Probably uh, take us up to what do you think, 36? Yeah. So, Got about uh, seven minutes till uh, I can fire off this uh, slam. Oh, that's just going to target the target the airport itself. I don't know if I want to do that. Wait, we can get the numbers from the uh, arm. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to have to wait for that. Slightly left, just, uh, just for a correction. It's funny, usually like, me and Kenny used to joke about it. Same with uh, when I used to fly with Anthony a lot on the streams. Like we used to almost always encounter a bad guy when we'd fly over China. Like it would almost always like <laughs> turn into a PvP engagement. Just just from luck alone it seemed like. <laughs> I see. Maybe it's because like these are typically longer sorties because we're having to do like two hundred mile flights, you know? But it, they typically get interesting. So. I think people just like flying into Gion. Yeah. Here's our uh, contrail around Angels 28. Like, I realize that certain maps seem to attract people more than others. Yeah. For whatever Seems reason. That way. I, I think that one of the reasons the server isn't quite as popular is we don't have voice comms enabled anymore. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's not like they were ever like needed, you know, and it kind of got rid of like a lot of the people that were just coming in just to talk. <laughs> oh yeah. But that's not really what I'm going for. I'm not going for like the most popular server on FSX. I'm just looking for a unpassword attack pack. 
And also to keep it from crashing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it does actually... It, it does eat up packets, so to speak, when you talk in game, so... It does actually make a smoother connection. I'm going to start adding a tiny bit of drive. Not going to come down to level yet, but... Adding a hair of drive. I might actually take us up to Angels 38 if you're okay with that. Yeah, Roger, that's fine. Yeah, just because uh, I see the tops of these, uh, these thunderstorms. Cumulo Nimbus clouds. <laughs> they're, they're pretty high up there, it looks like. Easing the drive. There we go. And I pitch a set. We'll be there in about four minutes. Ah, oh, dang, I always keep on forgetting to do this. Pulling up my uh, Twitch, seeing if anyone uh, said anything in chat. There you go, I'm watching chat now if anyone said anything. We have any viewers? Uh, we got three at the moment. Oh, nice. Hello, viewers. We are, uh, if you're just joining us, we are uh, inbound to China to go uh, blow up uh, a couple of SAM sites they got. We'll probably be uh, getting our weapons ready here in maybe about uh, eight minutes or so, is my guess. I'm going to actually set my timer. We're actually going to be in range for the SLAM missiles here in just a minute. They're actually, uh, what is that? Yeah, a minute and a half, but we're not going to fire that yet. We're going to try to get uh, precise coordinates on the SAM sites. How's it going, Phil? It's going to be uh, the 299th stream, so probably tomorrow or actually maybe even later tonight. Kenny said he might be around. I might uh, do that 300th stream. Once once we hit that point, we're going to we'll probably do a little bit more, a little bit less uh, just Super Warren stuff and probably a little bit more uh, stuff like we used to do with some of the ghost hawk and like change it up and stuff like that with some different airplanes every now and then this is still going to be my love but yeah i figured after 300 streams i'm going to add a little bit of drive here coming back to level I figure that's uh quite a bit of material out there we're not going to totally stop the super war and stuff of course on stream but we'll uh and i'm and that's going to still be what i log like 99 percent of my hours in multiplayer and whatnot this game with but I was thinking of doing like for the 300 stream there's a in zone queue for our uh, 84 but I was thinking of the for the, like the 300 stream doing like a statistics sheet of like how many like hours flown and like uh, how many you know bombs released and everything but man that would not <laughs> That would require me going through way too much footage. <laughs> I think the best thing to do would be just to pass your knowledge. Um, yeah. I think you're very knowledgeable. Yeah. And, I appreciate it. Yeah, no, and uh, it taught me a lot. Look, and I think there's a lot of things that a lot of people, if they knew how to, you know, uh, there's not really, there is a lot of information on the Superbug, but I think some of it could be done better. Uh, I do. 
I, so I, I'll know. do more like a ride along style, I guess. Um, That's what you need. Yeah. Like, but I, like it's not gonna just be like super. Like I'm really thinking like just doing like a several months of just go sock stuff, just just perfecting the carrier landing and the the racetrack pattern. You know, like people. <laughs> that works. Like just start at the. Hell, we can even do a little bit of BFM with the ghost socks, just showing how to get behind someone, or how to intercept, how to run intercepts, you know. That works. Because, I mean, that's that's the basics of dogfighting, or that's, like, a, one of the fundamentals. Like, how are you going to get behind someone if you can't run an intercept? That's <laughs> well, kind of like learning your attack in, so you can find the ship. Yeah. 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 There's a lot of building blocks where you get to, like, and I, I guess that's one thing, like, I want people to understand about the streams, too, is, like, before I started streaming, I had already been doing this for years, like, what, right, 10 years, or I, it, this is, like, the 10th year of the tack, or almost 10th year of the tack back, but, like, 7 years of the tack back, probably 10 years of the bug, but before I started streaming, that was, like, probably 5 years of tack back, and, what, 7 years of the bug? So it took a while before, like, you, you get to the point where you're, like, you know, comfortable enough knowing all the systems and stuff like that. Be, like, on stream doing it, I guess, you know? Like, reliably, I guess, or consistently to the point where you're, like, you can usually survive your sorties, so to speak. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a process. Uh, this is not an easy yeah. game, so to speak, you know? So, I mean, so even like formation, it takes time. And I, and like I've told people, I'm not a good pilot. I've just been flying this for way too damn long. But <laughs> like it's, but it, it's a, uh, but yeah, that that's what I hope people understand is like if they get this game, you know, or they're trying some of this stuff, like don't think just because like you saw Doc do it, you know, with ease. Want, like I've been doing this for a long time, you know, and it's a. Yeah, I, I, because I've definitely seen like people try stuff, I guess, that they've seen, you know, but they, maybe without as much success and get discouraged quickly, you know, and that's, it's, uh, it takes a while to get good with this thing, I guess, and any one thing, too, and there's so many varieties of things you got to get good at with this thing before you get to the point where you can do, like, do pretty much any mission you want, like, it, you know, impromptu engage your air target or something, you know? Or dodge a missile. Can you do a cobra? He said. You can do a cobra, not not in this configuration. It wouldn't go too well with all these bombs. It would waste quite a bit of gas. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure we've done yeah, I've definitely done it a few times on streams. <laughs> Eighty-five miles, six minutes. Uh, and, oh no! Right. Yep. Yep. I see you back there. You want me to pull out any power? No, it's good. Yeah. We're actually about to probably get a spike here in a minute, which uh, at that point we probably want to ease it out anyways. I'm just gonna be looking on uh, getting his numbers plugged in. Actually, I'm gonna go. Uh, Heading hold, anyways. Town three one zero spike Sam twelve. I got him. I got another one as well. Roger. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the sky's numbers. Oh, I guess 
guess that was you behind me. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. No, sorry. no you're fine. I thought for some reason the, the Sam was trying to tell me, hey, I'm friendly. <laughs> <laughs> Not falling for that there, Esky Russian. Rusky. <laughs> <laughs> guys numbers too Uh, yeah, I can, uh, actually, I'm going to go ahead and put a, uh, put a slam on the first one, or AGM-84. Town 310, bomb gone. And I'm going to also put a glider bomb on the second one. And that looks like a very safe separation, I'm sure. Town 310, bomb gone. If you wanna fire off your magnums, or where are you? Oh, okay, I got gotcha. you. Oh. It's like line of rest. Yeah, there goes my glider bomb. Nice. Yeah, if you want a magnum, I'll uh, I'll be back up with uh, mine. Get the other one a chance, or? Roger, yeah. Yeah. Uh, 301 back. Nice. I'm gonna drop these fuel tanks. Roger. Still got quite a bit of gas in mine. You uh, take the lead on the way back. So, uh, Still at 17.5. Ah, yeah. Good. I'm actually going to put mine in uh, pre brief mode. Oh, jeez. Huh. I uh, took all my ordnance off to get on the ship real quick, and I forgot to put my flare back on. <laughs> Oops. Talent 310, Magnum. You're, well, at least you don't have any laser-guided stuff, I guess. <laughs> Talent 310, Magnum.
Looks like you got one of them. Already. Still showing the spike down there. Yeah, I got one one remaining one. Looks like both the the arms are honing in on that one now. I'm watching the slam, uh, 84. Nice, I got 25 seconds till uh, drop. Yeah. Going with a JDAM strike. Roger. Five seconds. Three zero one bombs gone. Nice. <coughs> uh, three zero one is a magnum. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm sorry. Winchester. Winchester. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I forgot to call that myself. I am uh, Winchester myself. Oh, there's where uh, one of the bombs hit. I can already see it on... Uh... Yeah, and there's the other uh, one. I'm following mine. It's still dropping. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I, yeah, I'm just seeing the plumes of smoke fireballs. This uh, missile seems to be spazzing out. Must be getting excited or something. <laughs> it's almost about mine's about to hit. Oh, it totally went through that office building. The glider bomb, though, is still inbound. The glider bomb is uh, taking 84 just hit. Ah, uh, yeah. Here, I'm gonna. I'm gonna give uh, Phil what he was asking. I'm gonna let you take lead, but in order to slow down, it's gonna take me a minute to catch back up, but I'm gonna do a Cobra for him. What are you gonna do? Uh, Cobra. <laughs> what the hell is that? Uh, this is essentially a high altitude, high alpha, where we stand the jet up at a pretty high angle of attack and let you fly by. Oh, fair enough. You gotta get in the right flight on Loco first, so like, I gotta get slow enough. This is probably... probably you want me to low, drop a little bit? Yeah, well, no, no, you're fine. You're fine. I'll, I'll catch you eventually. I load off, uh, power. No, you're... Yeah, because I'm, I'm planning on catching you, you know? Alright, so here we go. Let's see if that's... It's going to be really slow at this altitude, Bill, as you can see. There we go. Letting him go by. Just because they're at 38,000, there's barely any air to bite into. ideal in a dog fight to do unless you're already really slow or something but none of these 
lower uh, speeds. Also, you you do uh, lose quite a bit of uh, your control authority with these extra bags of gas. I'm still 21.0. It's Cobra. <laughs> yeah, they're they're not uh they're not gonna be too pronounced at that altitude. It was uh and with this much weight, we got uh twenty point seven. Watch this uh, bomb, see if it hits. Uh, the ship should be, let's see, it's we're... Like one, two, two. Ah, uh, yeah. All right, Roger, I'm gonna turn right heading one, two, two. Roger. Yeah, it should still be roughly behind us. Oh man, I didn't realize that was nose hot that whole time. My bad. No, you're fine. About uh, five miles behind you. That glider bomb is still inbound. How far away is the shot? I, I shot it maybe like 40 miles or so. Or maybe like 50, I'm not sure. It, it has a lot further range than that, but it, it is a glider bomb, so. It doesn't go very fast. Yeah, I gotcha. I just found something. We'll see if this uh, gets there. Hey, I'll be back in a couple minutes. Ah, uh, Roger. Uh, it looks like it missed. At a gas station, it looks like. up the server those uh the CM sites or what's left of them. It was a somewhat successful strike though. But the harm set. The, the other stuff uh, came close. If it was horseshoes, we would have we gotten some points. Let's 
still got about a thousand pounds left in our uh, wing tanks there. Sloppy form up on my part. Hey, I'm back, sorry about that. Uh, no worries. Some goofy name just came in. Yeah, there's some left. Uh, who was it? Eggs Benedict or something like that. Oh, yeah, Eggs Benedict. Where he was using before. <laughs> uh, is he tag packed? I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> must be in the maintenance shop. Yeah, exactly. Or I'm stupid. That's that's why none of our bombs hit the. No, I'm sure. <laughs> Still quite a bit, 18.0. I'm at 15.9, uh, uh, yeah. put in the first stage burners. Yeah. You probably go mid-stage if you're, uh, if you look at your HSI and see what, uh, see what the minimum is, or see what you're gonna make it back with. Yeah, I'll so I, I, I got the gas for it. Yeah. Alright, burner's ready now. God, I'm fucking tone deaf. Yeah, you're fine. I I couldn't do it either. It's fucking excuse my language. It's, yeah, I'm sure I sound like an idiot when I write O2. Thanks, speaker. Two hundred pounds. Yeah, I got passed. 
I got you. Is there a tanker store? Yeah, there is. Alright, uh, Grant, we're not gonna need it. If anything, I got too much gas. <laughs> Pulling up on your right? Yeah, I see ya. We're gonna get to see uh, this jettison of the tank here. There we go. Nice. During your flyby. Oh, 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 you're right. There, there, oh, I was waiting for you to pass, and I was going to catch you as you passed. Oh, Ronnie, right. okay. So you probably got less gas than me. Yeah, whenever I, you, you'll see me going to burners when I see you coming up on me, you know, because I know that it's going to take me a while to spool up, you know, and, like, get up to the airspeed. Yeah, we're so fuel efficient right now. I mean, I could have ran in complete burners and still at 7,500 pounds. Yeah. Yeah, feel free to go, uh, the, like, go all the way up to max burner and then, like, take it down one notch and then we'll, uh, do some supersonic formation. Yeah, right there is, uh, a good power setting. Not sure yeah, we can actually get these pounds. things really fast in formation, even. I honestly, I think so fast, I don't have the uh, AIM 120 and the, uh, <laughs> and the FLIR on. Uh, it, it doesn't create that much drag. Like, I'm still able to keep up, you know. And I got those loaded. There's actually not too much drag at this altitude anyways. At uh, 38,000, it's almost like, I think it's like, a, like two-thirds of the atmosphere is gone. At around 30 to 35, it's already, I know, half. At least half is gone. Another like 10,000 feet, it starts to drop off fairly quickly. I got you. Grand though, it does stay at a very low altitude, like atmosphere rate for a while, but yeah. That's... Yeah, these, uh, at this altitude, at least, uh, drag, drag won't matter quite as much as it will. It'll, it'll matter less than half than it would at sea level, so to speak. But yeah, as you can see, I'm able to keep up okay, fluctuating on uh, those three stages of burners, max, mid, a little bit less. Yeah, that's 1.2 Mach. We'll be there in a jiffy. I'm going to go ahead and go back to minutes. switch is safe. Definitely going to be a case three recovery or a straight in approach. Yeah, right. I think the ship is going towards us, so yeah, 115 miles. There it was for a second. Ah. I got a leg spike. I'm still sticking in burners because like I know that like it's gonna 
at 1.2 Mach or so, it's going to take a minute to build that speed, you know, so I'm going to catch you early, so to speak. Roger. Yeah, I put it full burn as I went up to like 1.35, 1.35 Mach. stage less and then that's the that's the airspeed that all your wingies are gonna be anticipating you on anyways. Yeah. Gotcha. I'm still building speed. Yeah you are, but it, it's all good because like if you're building it with me, you know, and if I stay in burners and whatnot, then we'll we'll build it together and we'll still you might accelerate a little bit quicker, but I'll be able to catch it, you know, if that makes sense. We should be a look back out on your left wing now. Roger. There's uh, 80 miles. actually going from uh, left to right. Let me uh, check real quick. I'm going to ease it out a little bit and I uh, go nose high. Yeah, he's uh, coming kind of at us. Uh, kind of like 5 o'clock relative to us. We were looking down on him our vantage point. But uh, he's going at uh, 278, I want to say. Yeah, 278. So uh, 269 uh, will be the expected final bearing. I'm going to go back to uh, nose cold. Actually, I'd uh, probably recommend maybe a left turn to the east of anything. Uh, probably not yet, but um, if you see how the ship's coming at us, you know, like if it's going, uh, the expected final bearing is 269, or that's almost perfectly 270. The reciprocal of that is perfectly uh, 090, you know, so if you, uh, you make a left turn to 090, that'll actually put you perfectly behind the ship. And you do a split S. Yeah, right. Okay. Uh, when when you want to turn? 
Uh, I'd probably do it, uh, let's see, I'm looking at my HSI right now. Probably about like 20 miles or so, or two minutes. Okay, Roger. About the time we'll be uh, hooked down as well. Good. 1.49 mark. Yeah. At 1.5 mark. <laughs> I'm still stuck at 1.37. I came up on you. <laughs> you're, uh, I think you're on full burner. Oh, jeez, my bad. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. Uh, yeah, you're you're fine. We're about to have to start getting separation, anyways. We're about to land on a ship. You know, we can't stay in formation forever. With that we still tried to perfect the formation of the ship landing, and it's never <laughs> quite worked out. <laughs> Should try that one day. <laughs> I, I can already tell uh, you. It's it's yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm gonna expedite my turn. Heading. Ah, uh, Roger. Down myself now. I'll be doing. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go to zero nine zero as well. I'd probably do it though. Oh, you're probably. Uh, yep. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. I had you desync for a second. Oh boy. Zero is dumping. Zero is commencing state eight point seven dumping. Seven miles. At the point six five mark. Three 
Three zero one five miles. Bingo. Bingo. Oh, it's just got struck by lightning. What was that? Oh, it's just got struck by lightning. Oh, in the game? Yeah. One, one came awfully close to me. Zero platform state six point zero uh, twenty seven miles. Zero is 20 miles. 310, red deck, three wire. Yeah. Nice, three wire, hell yeah. yeah. I, wasn't, I wasn't there to see it. Yeah, come <laughs> on. It wasn't the best. It was a. Uh, it was a lucky one. I kind of. Uh, sure. Just trying to get on the deck. One of my kids just knocked over a bunch of paperwork, so I have uh, oh. that to clean up. Always messing things up. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> this is my problem, child. <laughs> Thirteen miles. I'm I'm getting there somewhat quick though. I haven't gotten dirty yet or anything like that. I got to get there. I just twelve miles. Five miles. Glide slope. Talent 310 is two miles on glide slope, slightly high, super involved 5.5 manual. Talent 310 is down to dirty. Wait till the last second on that one. Still decelerating though.
There's my amber donut. About half a mile from the shop. There's a three wire. Nice. How's that for an expedited get the ride right CV1 approach? Two three wires. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Well, I'll let you go get the paper sort, man. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that was a that was a good sortie though. Yeah, appreciate, yeah, appreciate you uh, stopping by, Bill. Let's see. I <laughs> see what I've been doing for landing. It's like just land on the ship and flip. <laughs> Shoot. Darn my bad, That's man. I haven't been uh, paying attention to chat. Uh, he might be uh, off center or too heavy. Yeah, if you hit it off center, that's uh, that's that's when it flips you. And yeah, like uh, like Shooter was saying, a little bit too heavy will do it too. But yeah, appreciate you stopping by, and uh, as always, hope everyone uh, has a good rest of their week, and uh, happy flying until next time.